Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to share with you something that I found very useful for my projects. And I thought that like maybe this will be helpful for you as well, which is how to get a, a unified or a unique or just special reader for your medical images. Like it is not something new, but I just found it very, uh, very useful to do. So for example, you are working on a medical imaging project where the, your inputs and outputs, for example, can be DICOM, NIFTY, and RRD. And yeah, if you have these three uh, types of inputs, so for sometimes you can use multiple libraries to read these. For example, you can use PyDICOM to read the DICOMs, NIBABEL to read the NIFTYs, and PyNRRD to read the NRRD files, etc., etc. Or maybe you can use the simple ITK to read like most of them because using simple ITK you can read the three files like three formats with no issue. But the thing is that each like especially between the DICOMs and between the NIFTY and NRRD. So NIFTY and NRRD can be considered as like the same format in terms of reading and writing. But when it comes to the DICOM, it is a little bit different because it, they are series and not only one file. And we need to combine the series to get the 3D file, etc., etc. So the idea here is that I will show you just small code that will be useful for you. It was very useful for me and it is still useful, which is how you get only one reader that can be used to like only one format that can be used to read DICOMs or NIFTY or NRRD and returns the same thing, which are a 3D NumPy array plus the metadata. So the metadata, like it depends to each people, like each person. Sometimes when uh, we have people that are interested in the patient name, patient ID, like all this stuff. And we have like, and for us, for example, the technical uh, engineers, what we need most of the time about the uh, metadata, we, we need the uh, dimensions of the images, we need the origin, we need the spacing, the orientation, direction. Like these are the interesting uh, metadata that we need. So in this video, I will show you how you can read DICOMs, NIFTYs, and RRDs, and then return like one type of return for all of them one NumPy array, like 3D NumPy array, plus the metadata. For me, since I use all the time the origin, the direction, and the spacing, so these are the three metadata that I will add in my function. But of course, you can see that if you want to add any metadata, you can add it for uh, for the same function, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is to uh, import the simple ITK. So if you don't have it already, you can install it using pip install simple ITK, okay? But if you do already have it, then we can import it. So import simple ITK as CTK, so that will be easier, okay? Then the other thing is that how we can, uh, we can start building the functions. So we will have two types of functions. One is the reading, the, like the readers, which is, which is how to read the DICOM series and combine them to one 3D file. And the other function of uh, like for the DICOM for NIFTY and NRD. And we have another type of function, which is the function that will extract the 3D array, like 3D NumPy array and the, um, the metadata. Okay. So we can start with the function that will extract the 3D NumPy array. Then we go to the reader because like the reader will depend to this function because whenever we read DICOMs or we read NIFTY or NRD, we will directly use the same, uh, we'll use one function that will help us to do the, um, how do we call it? To do the extraction of the NumPy array and the metadata, okay? So we we'll start by this function, which is the extraction of the NumPy array and 3D uh, and metadata. So let's define a function here, where let's call it extract, uh, extract uh, array and metadata, for example, okay? So this function, let's just put it as pass here. So this function should take a simple ITK image as an argument, which can use, like we can use this simple ITK image to extract the image or the imaging part, which is the NumPy array plus the metadata, okay? So let's call it, for example, CTK image, which is for simple ITK image. And we can also define the type from here so that it will be easier for us to use the, uh, like to access, the, uh, the functions and uh, yeah, everything related to the image. And you will see, so here let's put just the, the type, which is ctk.image, okay? So ctk.image meaning that this variable is of a type of ctk.image, okay? So as you can see like this here, 
and whenever we use it it should uh, it should be easier to access the uh, the functions and the variables that are in the simple ITK image so the first thing that we can do is to uh, start extracting the array so let's say for example NP array because it's an, it is a NumPy array so it is like let's do ctk that get array from image so we have two types of functions here like it is it is like it is similar to uh, below we have get image from array and we have get array from image and since we do have an array now uh, sorry an image which is simple itk image then we get we need to get the array from it so here in the parentheses we just need to give the image which is simple itk image that we have in the parameter okay so the first thing is done which is the numpy array now what we can do we can access the uh, the metadata so to get the metadata i will create a dictionary so let's me call it metadata okay and it will be a dictionary and it should contain three things the spacing the origin and the direction okay so let's start by the spacing and then here we have the simple itk image here and then let's put it to uh, let's get the uh, spacing so get spacing okay and the same thing with the origin and the uh, direction so here we have origin sorry origin and then we i don't know why it is not writing but yeah now we have the simple itk origin then we do the same thing with the direction and something like this okay so now we have a uh, a dictionary that contains the spacing the origin and the direction maybe some of you uh, ask why i am getting these because like this will be used to like whenever you want to create a new simple itk uh sorry new nifty or new dicom or new nrrd file you will need these so that you will get the same uh, directions and the same origin and the same spacing of the inputs and for the output what when we use these so for example if you are doing data augmentation and you are taking the inputs which is the image that is that you are taking as input you are doing some uh, like some transformation on it so changing the blur changing the contrast like doing something and you want to save this image again so in this case preferably you should take the same um, metadata which are the spacing origin direction when you want to save the new image so in this case you should get like an image with like very defined uh, metadata so that if you want to get like the same uh, like the same metadata for different cases then it will be good because if you don't for example take these then like default values will be given which is not proper in this case but this is not the best example that i can give but now i will give you the best example of using these three variables which are if for example you are doing 3d segmentation of an organ or tumor or something like that and you are having the segmentation file and you want to export it and then after that you will uh, superimpose it like we superimpose the segmentation on the volume so for sure if you don't have the same spacing the same origin and the same direction in that case you will never get the like the proper or the correct superimpose because the uh, the two files like the volume the input volume which is this one and the segmentation like the output will be in two different uh, two different origins two different directions so like physically they are not at the same space so in this case you cannot superimpose them but to be able to superimpose them they should have the same all these three uh, tags i hope that this was a little bit helpful to understand but this is why i use it all the time which is extracting the metadata from the inputs and injecting them to the output so when we extract them we are doing get direction get origin get spacing and when you give them or when you inject them to the output you do set spacing set origin set direction okay but this is not our subject for now this is just to show you why we need these but for sure, uh, I think since you see these uh, tags, you can see where, why, like where and why you will need them. Okay, so this is about how to extract the uh, NumPy array and the metadata. So now let's return them, so that we can use them after. So we have the like the NumPy array and the metadata. Okay, so this is the first function. 
the second function that we'll do is to how to read the dicoms so let's do def and read dicom okay and then here for the uh, like to read the dicoms we'll need the path so that this part will be the uh, like where we can find like it should be a folder of dicoms okay so let's just give dicom path of an s here okay string we can like we cannot specify the type i just sometimes i prefer to use it so that i can access the functions easily but yeah like if you don't want to specify the type you cannot like you can ignore this part okay now let's do the reading so we have let's uh, create a, um, a reader like a variable called reader now let's start reading the images so let's do simple itk the first thing that we need to do is to define the reader which is image uh, series reader so it should read series of icons and not one image okay now we just define the reader then we need to define the dicom paths so or the dicom file names or dicom names as you want so we have dicom names for example equal to reader that get g dcm file names okay and here we give the uh, the path to the folder of dicom so we have dicom path okay now we do have the file names we do have the readers the reader sorry now we can start reading so we have like reader that set uh, set file names okay and then we give the file names to the reader which are dicom names okay now we define the reader we define the file names we gave the names to the reader now what we can do we can execute which is like I, I i know that this way of defining is a little bit like we are doing a lot of lines that we can do only in one line but i don't know if you have already used simple itk before or vtk like both of these uh, libraries they always do something like this i don't know why the structure is like this but they define the file names they define the reader or the writer or something like that and then they do the like all the time they define the operation then they execute it like this is their way of doing the thing but yeah it is not complicated but you can see that there are three three four lines instead of doing only one line just something like this okay so now we have the reader let's execute it so we have this like whenever we will execute it we will get a simple itk image so let's save it into like image ctk which is for simple itk equal to reader dot execute okay so now whenever we execute it we will get a simple itk image now what we'll do we will just uh, like we can return the image but to get like as i said we need to get a proper or unique or unified uh, reader which can read dicom or read nifty or read an rrd but returns the same thing which is 3d numpy array and the metadata and if you remember when we define this uh, function we said that it takes as input a simple itk image and it returns a numpy array and the metadata and since we do have a simple itk image here so i think you do understand what i want to say which is let's return directly the extract array and metadata and we give it the image ctk that we have here from the reader so let's just uh, reset again now we are reading the like we're defining the reader defining the file names giving the file name to the reader then reading the images and whenever we read the images we get a simple ITK image that contains a lot of information. And this simple ITK image can be put to this function, which we defined before, that takes a simple ITK image, extract the array, extract the metadata, and return them. So this function, in reality, it is returning the same thing that this function returns, which is a NumPy array and the metadata. So this is the, the return of this, file, this function now let's do the same thing for the nifty and rrd so we can like put because the same thing will happen for both of them so if you want you can have directly like read uh, nifty and rrd or you can have two different functions just the name of the function that will be different but everything inside the functions will be the same okay so let's just give it file path because it can be nifty or dicom so let's just give it like this put it like this which is file path okay but if you are having two functions then you can you give the name for example nifty or something like this okay 
So now we do have this. We just define the function to read the 3D images like Nifty or Anaradi, it is easier than the um, than the Dicom series. So we directly define the uh, image CTK, for example, and then we directly do CTK dot read image. Directly, we don't do anything like we, we don't define the reader. We don't give define names or something like this. We just give the path to the f like the file path here and the same function which is like read image will do the everything and returns a simple itk image and as i said we do the same thing to extract the uh, image and the metadata so that we can get the same uh, the same type of readers so here let's do return and extract let's just call the function and give the uh, simple itk here okay so whenever we give this image this simple itk image it will return the numpy array and the metadata so if we give nifty or rrd it will be the same thing okay so now we just define the functions if we want to test them let's just check uh if name equal name okay let me just search for some files to be used for testing i will just pick one random um, Okay, I will just pick one random nifty file. I don't know what it contains, but just something like this. So we have, for example, this is a nifty. Okay, so this is one nifty file. Like it doesn't contain, it doesn't have any name, but yeah, like uh, it is not important for now. Let's see if it can be read because I can read this in any software. Let's see in Python if can, it can read it, but for sure I think it can read it but let's test okay so we have we need to define the reader okay so we have the reader then we have the uh the dicom reader but the thing is that since we are not have like i'm not using classes for now we are just having functions so whenever we call the function like either dicom reader or nifty or another the readers it will directly uh, return two things which are like it will return a tuple something like the numpy array and the sorry not a tuple but two variables it will be a numpy array and the metadata so we need to define two variables so that we can store them so we have numpy array for example and metadata okay now we can define the readers so read nifty and rrd and we get we give the path okay let's run it and see if it can read the file even okay it, there is no issue <laughs> now let's start for example printing the metadata if we want let's test okay so this is the metadata of this nifty specific nifty file like we have the spacing we have the origin and the direction okay so this is one file we can test with others let me just uh, search for a folder of dicom series so that we can see the difference and you will see that you cannot see the difference in terms of return because it's the same thing before that we can for example uh, print the np array array but it sh like it will be something very big but just something like this if we want to um, for example let's print just the shape okay yeah so this is the shape for example now let me uh, search for one dicom folder it should be just uh, right here okay so i have this folder let me just copy the path and paste it here okay now we don't have a dicom uh, file uh, sorry we don't have a nifty file but we have a dicom folder so a folder that contains dicom series so for that we cannot use this function but let's use read dicom okay so whenever we read the dicom it should be like you see we are not changing anything it should return the numpy array and it should return the metadata and let's print them okay so let's wait okay so spacing origin and the direction so since this is a different patient as you can see it is different from this one but yes because it is different patient it has different spacing different uh, origin and different uh, uh, di direction but this is not the, this is not a problem because like these two different patients and two different files from two different data sets so for sure we can get something like this but the most important thing is that we do the same way of reading we just change the path it was dicom now it is nifty 
and now I am putting it like this, but you can directly have one function that can check if this is a nifty file or if this is directory and then like just one function called reader or unified reader takes everything it can take you can give it like either a directory or a uh, or a file and whenever it is a file like a nifty file then you can check the reading if it is a uh, dicom series then you call directly this function which is the dicom uh, like read dicom but at the end you will get the same return so yeah this was about this video i hope that it will be helpful because i find this uh, this trick very helpful for my projects so yeah if you have any questions about this please leave them in the comments and if you are working on any project and you need any help with that you can always contact us we can help with the medical imaging projects so you can contact us at contact at or you can leave any comments and we can get in touch with you so see you in next videos bye bye